Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, stay with me. We are going to make some acorns for your tiered tray. They're so cute. All right, so I'm starting with some Easter eggs. Now, I actually got these at Dollar Tree last year on Easter. I just popped the ears off and then sanded the top, but you could use regular Easter eggs like I have over there, and then you're going to paint them. Now, I didn't paint the whole thing. I just painted the um, smaller end in about three quarters of the way up. I'm using chalk paint, and I did have to do probably, I'm going to say, three coats. Um, I'm using a white, a brown, and then a, a brown that's in between the two, I guess. I'm doing five you do as many as you want. Then I take a piece of jute and I cut it down probably about two inches long. And then I put a little dot of glue at the end and then I fold it in half. What we're doing here is just making a little stem. Yes, friends, a stem, it's gonna be adorable. All right, so then put some glue on the top and this is where it gets neat. Um, I know it seems weird, but I put it on the top and then I kind of smushed it and, and twisted it in the glue. And it's just because I want to make sure that it stays kind of twisted. And I want to make sure also that it stays at the top of the acorn that we're doing, right? And you can press it down with your finger, you know, with the finger protector on. That works too. There we go. Make sure it's placed. Listen, here's the other thing, friends. Make sure it's placed even because half of mine, <laughs> they're not on the in the middle. And they look a little bit cockeyed, but that's okay. Um, and then I start putting some jute on. So I put a little glue on and I start wrapping it around the stem, the base of the stem that we just put on. So you're just gonna keep wrapping it around in a circle. Again, I'm just using Dollar Tree jute. And then I just put more um, glue on as I go. If you put too much glue on, like you'll see, like I did here, I put too much glue on, the glue is gonna dry and then you're gonna have to put more glue on it after anyway and then you have a bumpy surface so I just encourage you put a little glue on as you go learn from me friends <laughs> and see that so I finally learned and I'm like all right we'll just put a little bit on as we go and so and you just go all the way as far down as you painted now again you could paint the whole egg if you wanted I didn't um so there's that and this is just the doing the end of this again um it's and again, you got to just pay attention because if the jute kind of goes off track, then you'll be able to see the egg underneath it. So just make sure that you're watching it. And if you have some bare spots, just go over it again. Easy peasy. Then cut the end. And then I put just a little dot of glue. This is the beauty of jute, friends. I just put a dot of glue on it and then I just smushed the jute in and you can't even see where the end of the jute is. That's why I love jute. It's so forgiving. It's awesome. ta -da. Perfect. And again, I did many of them. I did five a total. Um, and then I'm using, this is a Tim Holtz um, distressing pad with some black ink and I'm just going over and distressing them. You don't have to do this part, but I thought it made them look so much cuter. Friends, I am so late on the tiered tray game that I feel embarrassed. But let me tell you, now I'm in it to win it and look at how cute. I love it. Thanks for watching.